Health and safety at work is not just about procedures and controls. There's also safety culture, the crucial third element in successful risk management. Safety culture, I feel, is extremely important. To have the right culture in all organisations, I think, is critical, particularly uh, within this site, where high volume manufacturing, high quality um, business. We have to have the right culture, not just for safety, but for the whole of the business. With even the best risk controls and procedures, accidents can, and do, still happen. Well, we've had one accident in the month compared to 15 in the factory, so our department's quite well controlled, really. Safety culture is all about the human element. It's directly linked to individual perceptions of risk and to human behaviour. In terms of our development of safety culture, we've actually involved uh, everybody in what we describe as a total integrated approach to continuous improvement. Therefore, our culture is a learning culture, it's progressive, health and safety is not independent to any other facets of our organisation, um, and therefore, through that, I feel we've been able to achieve a substantial amount in terms of our efficiencies and then in our performance. Of course, everybody has a different perspective of this. The marketing people... To be truly effective, safety culture must permeate the entire workforce. Every manager on site will say that they are responsible for health and safety within their department. And all employees are involved with health and safety. When we do risk assessments or any other aspects of safety, we try to involve the workforce in the decision-making process because, of course, if they own the decision, then they're more likely to carry out the work method in a safe way. Employee involvement is just one facet of safety policy but it's the biscuits that determine the continued success of the company. There are stringent procedures for handling unwrapped products. Daily audits ensure that no glass or plastic accidentally ends up in the product. And every wrapper has its own identification code, giving details of the batch number, shift and date. So biscuits can be identified in the unlikely event of a customer complaint. There's a sensitive electromagnetic detector at the end of each production line. It checks that there isn't even the smallest fragment of metal in the product. The system's checked every hour to make sure it's operating as planned. Boxes of biscuits aren't the only things to leave the factory. There are production wastes as well. They're regularly monitored to ensure they'll cause no harm to the environment. Waste water from the production process is sampled every three hours. It's a statutory requirement that its pH falls within safe limits. Managing health and safety goes beyond that of the factory. Our factory is in the middle of a town and we do take a very responsible view of our obligations. In fact, we go beyond our obligations in terms of looking after the safety and welfare of the people uh, in this town. One such example is that we only take deliveries in between 7.30 in the morning and 7.30 in the evening. Now that is something that hasn't been imposed on us. It's something that we decided as a business that we'd like to do so that we cause minimal disturbances with the people and public at large. It's four years since David Smith became general manager of the Kirkham factory. The comprehensive risk management strategy he and his workforce have implemented has proved a great success. What that has enabled us to do is move from being the worst 
factory within your organisation to now the best. And we can qualify that through having gone through the new health and safety audit where we scored the highest audit score within your organisation. The human element is the key to a successful safety culture. But even the best workforce can't rest on its laurels for long. The risk management process is dynamic because the business is dynamic and constantly evolving and so you have to constantly review the challenges which are coming to that business from all the hazards involved and uh, review whether or not your control measures are actually being effective. Thank <laughs> you.